Best burrito I ever had in my life, a breakfast burrito, Silver City, New Mexico, in a little old alley down there where you think nobody would ever find this spot. There was a line out the door. Fresh eggs, green chilies, a little bit of onion, bacon, sausage combined, rolled up there, fried in that skillet just gently and then throwed out there on a plate covered with cheese and sauce and ooh, so good it was. Hey, I don't know what time it is where y'all are watching, but hey, it is breakfast time here. Seven o'clock in the morning. Beautiful day God has created here. We got some rain, green grasses here. And what are we talking about? The ultimate breakfast burrito. Let's talk about the tater that goes in here. Yeah, I'm not talking about just frying some potatoes. I'm talking about frying up some hash brown potatoes, but we're not gonna make them in a hash brown patty. We're gonna grate them and then just deep fry them because we get that good crispiness that comes out of them. But use a russet that's the potato that's going to work best but the most important factor is you've got to rinse that potato time after time after time because what does it do takes the starch away from it and if you're looking for something that'll really help you out on the best crispy hash browns ever check out that video up there because whoo it was a winner well the taters were rinsed four times they were you got to make sure that water's clear then just pour some water back over them let them sit get your cast iron skillet get it over some medium heat get it hot and we're talking pork sausage, uh-huh. Now, I've used a lot of different kinds, deer sausage, elk sausage, chorizo, but if you're talking about really the best breakfast burrito I ever had, it just had really good pork sausage in it. Y'all be asking yourself, how come he didn't use old Bertha? Well, Bertha is right there behind Shan, it is, but folks, I didn't need the hair burned off my legs this morning. It's already 84 degrees. A fire in there would have been, whoo, oh so hot. Well, browned up nicely it has. Let me transfer this to a plate. It is above beagle height and major height. Back to the fire it goes. We're talking good bacon here. We got four slices. I like bacon, I do. Mage says he likes bacon. How you like your bacon? Crispy? Atta boy. The bacon is sizzling right along at the same time too. I need you to get you something to pour a little deep fry oil in and go to getting it about 350 degrees because we have come to the point to where you have seen me gather the eggs fresh right out of the hateful chicken. Yeah, she's been a little hateful here lately. What? Who is it? It is Gladys. We call her Gladys. I mean, she's always thinking that she's the boss out there and most times she is, but she used to peck me all the time when I try to get them eggs. Now she just sort of squawks at me because she knows that I'm going to get them because we do love us some fresh eggs now these if you're going to make this for a serving i would probably say maybe three large eggs but uh these are what i'd probably call a medium egg so we're going to use four just get you a bowl go to cracking look how dark them yellers is on them good homemade eggs be sure and check out the little recipe down there below hit that link we'll have this broke down per serving size for you but if you're watching there on the tv you can just hey go to our website www.kentrollins.com click on recipes and it'll take you there break out your automated twirling device called a whisk and bear with me it's going to be loud for a minute because we're not just going to whisk a little we're going to whisk a lot to where these things are so smooth they're going to be fluffier that away crispy bacon maize just the way me and you like it let me get us some seasoning for them eggs and we'll mix that in there I think it gives a great flavor to eggs. Oh, it's missing something. Listen, what could it be? Hatch green chili. You gotta have them, folks. Dice. Now, you be careful. You look when you're seeing them. Sometimes it'll say hot, sometimes it'll say mild. That is to your favor preference. Don't drain them, don't do nothing to them. Dump them in there. While we're sitting here talking, we should have took the bacon up. Careful, mate, that's hot grease, buddy. Remember I told you sausage about three-fourths done? Dump her right back in there. And you say, why didn't you just cook it all the way? This way, if there's any grease, any lard left in that sausage or fat that can render down, it's just going to give them eggs more flavor. Folks, I need you to save that little dab of grease right there. So that green chili can that you had, put it somewhere where it'll stand still for a minute. And that might not be it. So we're going to go right here. Look out, Mage. I don't want none of this on you. Because we got to have this for them tortillas. So we're gonna try to pull this off ranch style, cooking the folks is in line we are, all finished at the same time. Now, skillet is hot. Remember, we reserved the bacon grease. Deep fry oil's about 350 degrees. First, we're gonna pour in the eggs, the green chilies, 
and we're going to let them go to cooking. Let's check the temperature of the fry oil. Fry oil says I'm ready. In they go. You know, we patted these dry after we rinsed them. Make sure you get all that water off of them because water and grease don't work so well together. And we're going to let them get good and crispy. Boy, can y'all smell them green chilies? Mm, they are smelling so good. They are. You busy? Yeah, I am. It so reminds me of back when I was on Chopped. You have to be really busy there for a minute. But folks, we want these to fry up good and crispy. Now, they're not just one solid hash brown, as you can tell here. So give them a stir every once in a while to make sure that they ain't clinging together too tight. Well, folks, I have cooked me a lot of breakfast I have in years past. Some of them been way before it got sunlight, four o'clock in the morning. I think the earliest I ever fixed breakfast was 3.30 on the ranch one time. I was thinking, Maybe this is like brunch from leftover midnight. I don't really know. But folks, I did fix a lot of breakfast burritos, especially on days that either we were moving camp or they were in a hurry to get out of camp that morning so they could start before it got too hot or something. So you can roll them up. They can stick them in a pocket on a jacket or something, put them in a saddlebag, take off down the trail. That's good to go. But breakfast time to me, hey, I love to see them cowboys get full and then you can sit there and you can just see them sort of in the, in the silhouette of the moonlight riding off and you can hear them old hoofs, hoof beats hitting on them old rocks as they rim out on them canyons and then that sun peaks up there and you think, thank you Lord, I got the best job ever. But folks, a lot of times on a ranch, I gotta make things quick, gotta make them easy. I'm using a can of refried beans. What? A can of refried beans, you say? Now, I'm going to jazz it up a little. I am. I'm going to put me a little smoked paprika, some garlic salt, I mean garlic powder in there, and a little bit of cumin. Now, if and I wasn't in no hurry, I would be using what? A refried bean. This here is childproof label, and I was trying to be in a hurry, and you can't even get the label, the lid off of it. Not much cumin, folks, because they have put a little in there, but they don't... Last but not least, some good smoked paprika. Mage, you find that lid, I'll give you a dollar. Ooh, hey, a lot of flavor coming out of there now. I can smell it. Them canned beans are saying thank you for the help. And here comes the new dog here in a different color. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Sadie. If you guys are watching for the first time, she's actually, she's usually white. Oh my gosh, Sadie. Well, the assembly line is ready to go now. You be sure you have it all in order because when you go to putting this together, you don't want to leave nobody out. We're going to layer us a layer of them refried beans that we jazzed up right out of that can. And then next goes what? We're going to put a strip of bacon right there on the bottom so he can lay right there on top and hold everything together. Then the sausage and the eggs, a little cheese, more bacon right on top, a little more cheese, tuck and roll we're gonna do the fire drill and then we're gonna fry them just a little bitty quick in some bacon grease oh the ultimate breakfast burrito don't get no better than this don't look no further than here because this is where you're gonna find it see me lay them layers on there pile after pile smooth they're out like traveling concrete wrapped it up and remember that bacon grease that we saved put back in that field skillet give them just a quick flash fry there to seal them edges and to give us some good brown color you see me add a little bit of that green salsa to it before i roll it up let me tell you folks that stuff will light you on fire i do love some hot now 
I have the recipe is down there in the little link below, but if you want to tame that down, be sure you take the stems and the seeds out of them jalapenos. But you don't have to use that. You can use our red salsa or you can use your favorite salsa. But folks, I had really good help today. Some of them changed colors while they were here, they did. But I think we'll start with the Meiji today. I fried extra bacon just for my good helpers. Where is everybody at? Hey, 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 bacon time. Come on. Here you go. These two here, they're a different color than they was. I like y'all's new spring and summer outfits I do. I mean this stuff. Mm. That stuff is good. It is hot. Made me want to do it. Jump up for some more. Woo! That stuff right there burned a diesel pickup. Mm hmm it is good. Best way to start every day, breakfast, breakfast burritos. But hey, I can start them for supper time. They're so good, maybe even at lunch too. But thank y'all, we just, uh, we appreciate you so much for coming in and letting us show you how to make these ultimate breakfast burritos. They're oh so good and tasty. And I wish y'all was here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a bite. Just go ahead and just reach through there and get you a bite, cause ooh, they so good. Everything we use today will be listed down there in the little link below, but don't forget we're going to be at Layman's Hardware up there in Kidron, Ohio, July 23rd, I think is the correct date. All the info will be on the website, but if you go ahead and buy your tickets and you'll get entered into a what? A $500 shopping spree with me. Well, as always, I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying over camp. Ooh, it is a great thing and we never take it for granted. Rest of you, come on in here. I got in trouble last week. Some of them said you didn't get a big hug, so I'm gonna give it to you this time. Ugh. We love you so much. We thank you each and every one for watching our videos. God bless you one and all, and I'll see you down the ultimate best for breakfast burrito trail ever. You can see my reflection or my shadow in here. That is good. Uh-uh, Mage, quit. You'll be all nasty too. Lou, don't get back up here, unless you're going to rinse off.